Hello YouTube, this is Doom Guardian, and I am going to be showing you how to mod Fallout New Vegas, considering a uh, new update for the Fallout New Vegas editor came out, I don't know how long ago, but now there's a 4.0, and a version of uh, the Fallout New Vegas Vegas editor, or Fallout New Vegas, yeah, and um... If you're having a hard time trying to find it and you already have like an older version of it, if you open up the older version, there should be this little heart. And if you click it, it'll bring you up to this, which is zeroappear.com. And you can download it from there. And it tells you about the updates and stuff down here. And, uh, well, uh, let's get started. I'm going to be using Mario to open and explore or explore my device and open my save up and rehash and design and I'm going to use this Fallout New Vegas Vegas editor to change some stuff up I've tried um... there's something special with this where in the uh, stats and skills um... there's something different where you can actually change more things like speed and stuff than some of the older versions of this let you do and actually I'm gonna try to put a NPC character in my inventory and see if that works out I'll let you know in a uh... I might I'll just put it in the description but I'm not gonna do that right now because that might mess up my save I'll just do it on a different save but um... Is open up your save or no I'm gonna put my save on my desktop desktop and um I already have this open so I don't have to open this up but what uh what you do is you load the file load it up I already did this before and oh yeah if it asks you if you have a pimp boy just say no if you don't have it but a pimp boy is a uh pimp boy that you can get from some somebody and you have to do a bunch of quests and stuff for it but it's like a golden pit boy and since I don't have it I'll just say no I've already modded all my special and stuff oh yeah and I don't think you can downgrade your level because that might mess up something possibly but if you do change your level um like go up some whenever you get any experience at all in the game you'll level up to that level that you decided to change it to and seriously you will just level up normally so if you level up if you put your level at like like by 9800 or something you um will level up uh, level up 9800 times so you'll probably sit there for about two or three hours watching yourself level up and not being able to play so I suggest you not level up to a an extremely high level or there's a possibility that your game will crash if you put too high of a level and you can't mod your player info cause that'll make your game crash and let's see the skills and stats you can max out your skills like all the other versions the older versions of this will let you but um the older versions also let you do the weight and HP and they might have let you do some of this stuff but uh... you can mod your size of your character too which I don't know what the scale is and how big you'll get from modding your size but I have not done that yet the normal size is one the normal damage resistance is one, rad resistance, I mean, is zero. Rad resistance is zero, damage threshold, or whatever it's called, is zero. All this is pretty much zero, but I put these at a hundred to see how high each one can go, except for the AP, because I like using that. And apparently, rad resistance can only go to 85. Um, I actually just changed my damage resistance and damage whatever it's called because I didn't want to be too cheap but this actually went up to 100 this went to 100 I didn't change my karma because I like being neutral um you can change your 
throw I guess that's for like throwing items um, if you put this at 100 you already reload pretty much instantly so I don't know what happens if you put reload at like 999 probably won't even see yourself reload but um, AP that's that little zoom in thingy where you get to target everything um, you can change your speed change your speed to 100 will make you just a little bit faster. I changed it to 135 to see if it made me any bit faster. It actually didn't. So I'm going to change that to 200. And um, critical, I just put it 100 because I don't know what the percentage would be for this. And then there's another thing that's new where you can mod your uh, hardcore mode stats. Like if you hate being like dehydrated you can change your hydration and f fatigue you can change that too um, next I'm going to show you inventory I already modded my inventory and stuff like I got put in the mysterious strangers outfit and hat the um, some unique weapons like the all-american and I actually want to change that how much ammo I have uh, Let's see. For some reason, this holy frag grenade did not show up. Even though I put it in there, it wouldn't show up, so I don't know what that's all about. I think it's because of how much stuff I changed. That could be a possibility. Um, but here, let me show you. There's a database, and you can um, type in whatever item, weapon, NPC, um, ammo, all sorts of stuff, armor, whatever the name of it is, and if you type it in, it'll pop up on here, or if you just type in a letter, you'll get, I don't know, a million things to look from, like I just typed in L, and I got everything that has the letter L in it, in the game, and, let's see, I'm going to put in, okay, you know what, I'm just going to type in something I knew, uh, what's the name, hmm, I think it's V, no, I'll just type in something, like Deathclaw, there, just type in death. Yeah, if that gives you that, just type in the single word and then look for it yourself. See, death cloth sing a single word, so. Yeah, um, there it is, death cloth gauntlet. I honestly don't know what would happen if I put in a death claw into my inventory. I'd probably get owned through my pit boy. That wouldn't be too good. Um,. Let's see. What you do is after you double click whatever you want, you click the little dot dot dot, whatever quantity and condition. Always put my condition really high so that way I never have to worry about repairing anything. And that's pretty much it for this editor. It's actually a lot of stuff, but what you want to do is save. Done saving, exit out of that. Open up, or if you already have Mario open, open up Mario. Open the save that you just edited. Did it. This. And rehash and resign. Or rehash and resign with whatever you're going to use. Then insert it into your hard drive or USB whichever you're using and overwrite and there you go